I think the most important thing to speak about when you speak about this situation, this development, and about uh, us always communicating with the players wherever they are in a, in a real clear way about what our expectations are, what you need to work on. Today, you know, the group got challenged on a few things that we think we can improve on, and individuals got challenged. And Casey has the opportunity now in Rochester with a little more time and space to work on these things and uh, to get more reps, more minutes. To, uh, to continue to work on his habits. He's a very young player. There's a lot we ask for for somebody who's eventually going to be an important piece of our, our team as a centerman in the National Hockey League. And, uh, we, you know, we just all found that for his development, this is uh, the right place to be. Chris Taylor was with him here for a few months, uh, also working with him one-on-one -on -one quite a bit so he can continue the conversation. And, uh, you know, that, that's the situation. You know, we're out open, we're honest when we made the move. That was the conversation, and uh, now uh, it's up to Casey to go back to work there. How much was it cer a certain tipping point where the conversation had become, is he going to be in the lineup or not in the lineup, and you, you just want this guy playing. You don't want him sitting alone. Yeah, that's the single most important thing here at that age is, is to get the reps and to get the minutes. And uh, as soon as you know he became a candidate for for being scratched, that, that uh, you know, we needed to, to think about what was the best for him as an individual uh, combined with that which we need as a team long term. So uh, for sure, uh, a player in that development phase needs to play. What more do you need from your other centermen right now, uh, specifically Rodriguez and uh, Johansson? Yeah, I mean, what we, what we want uh, is, is always from all the lines, first of all, a certain sense of stability. I think especially when we're playing the top teams, which we did all through the last couple of weeks, some of the top teams in the league, your defensive stability is, uh, is run by the centermen, really. And they get a lot of help by wingers dropping back into the, into the, into the tra tracking situations. They'll take them back early and they'll be the low man down. But... You know, it's important that the centers, um, you know, work on fundamental issues. Like we need to get our face-offs up as a team. It's a team number for me. Uh, like I've told you before, save percentage, power play, penalty kill, they're all team numbers and we need to work on that. So centermen for sure, uh, continually trying to improve uh, in that department where we have a big upside and it's exciting that we still have a lot of places to get better at. You know, when you wake up today and you're still finding a lot of areas of improvement and we're doing okay. So it's, um, it's exciting. but. You know, to those two specifically, just to continue to work. Marcus is new at the center position, so there's a lot of decisions you need to make depending on the score in the game. Also, you need to be able to rea react to that and lead your for you know your line. And also, Asplin to somebody we can move back and forth. Rodriguez we can move to the wing and back. Um, I, I like that option because even within games, you're seeing changes of lineup and or changes of uh, position. Skinner's played. With Rodriguez, he's played with Johansson in both of these last two games, depending on the matchups they were getting and the opposition and the D they're getting. We, we can make those adjustments now, which we like a lot. So uh, centers need to be available to play different positions, which, uh, which both of those guys are. You just Perfect. took three, or four, three out of four points from the Toronto Maple Leafs. What did you take away from those two games? Yeah, just their, their offensive upside is as high as it gets in the league, I think. So if we can... Uh, if we can control that and we can stay patient, we have an opportunity against them. And uh, the thing is to neutralize them. I think with Marner back, they're a better team. They're a different team. And, uh, you, you know, if you look at their top two lines, they could, be, they could have some of the best depth in the, in the National Hockey League offensively, and their, their D like to be involved. So what we take f from it is that they are continually a scoring threat, that the game is never over no matter the score, and uh, that they like to play offense. How is Carter's uh, support of Linus to this tough situation for him personally help Linus? Carter's, you don't notice in his behavior at all whether he's playing or not playing. That makes him really unique. Like even on a game day, he's always there still giving to the team and supporting, whereas often goalies will check out if they're in a backup role. Uh, it's easy, but when they're playing, it's not. But he's exactly the same guy. Like you don't notice the change at all. And he's cheering for Linus as much as anybody in the room. He's cheering for the guys when he's not playing. And uh, I know down deep he's a big competitor and we're going to need him here. And uh, Mike is working really hard to keep him in a good space as we go game by game, day by day. And, you know, his number will definitely come up here again. And, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty sure the way he's working right now, he'll be ready for that role too. Do you have time to check out the Bills game? I want to say congratulations. I've already communicated with, with Sean. I've commu communicated with Kim and Terry 
and I watch that game. I usually go to bed way earlier than that game ended, so um, I, I cut into my sleep, which I'll catch up now in Toronto. But I'm so pleased for uh, for the communication with Sean through the year. It's been, you know, we've been exchanging messages more than anything in the last while, always giving each other some kind of a push. And both of us are out here trying to make the, the Buffalo sports community proud, and uh, they've really really done that in, in what they've achieved and you know we're trying to continue to do that as we're not even halfway through our season but uh, the way they're coming together as a group and the way they've done it as a, as a team and you know I heard them in some interviews yesterday using the word connected which uh, is all what we're about so there's a lot of parallels I think right now between the Bills and the Sabres and, and um, you know Sean and I are, are passionate here both of us to to you know get the get the sports community back on the track it deserves to be on for the passion that's in the in the area and it's a lot of fun both of us are having a lot of fun in our work and I'm uh, I've become the biggest Bills fan out there or as big as anybody else I'm sure there's bigger <laughs> Bills fans out there but I I really uh, I watched every second of every minute of every every snap yesterday. Have you noticed Dolly leaning more into his physical play since coming back? Yeah, I mean, he his hits and block shots the other day. You know, I think they added up to ten or something around that that mark. And you know, his his understanding of what we need from him to be, uh, you know, to be to be a higher minute player is is clear, and that he's working on it is clear. I've I've told you before that you know the time that Steve Smith spends with him, and Steve Smith has a, you know almost a handful of Stanley Cup rings, is a good defenseman to be listening to because the game might have changed in a lot of ways the way speed and uh, intensity but the the pre-positioning for a defenseman and the the dealing with gaps and and the way you need to use your body and your sticks it's the same as it was when Steve Smith played and uh, it's the offense that's changed and is more exciting and more dynamic and that's natural for Rasmus <clears throat> and we're just so excited with with uh, I told you this so many times the person he is and he's only going to get better every day and the uh, sky's still the limit with him but we're really pleased with uh, with his effort in uh, in the last game in 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 New York, I thought was one of his best games for sure today.